Hi, my name is Novea Rodusko. I'm currently a sports medicine three student here at Saltal High School, and I did my fifth project on medical journal research for BIAD syndrome. What is BIAD? BIAD is short for Body Integrity Identity Disorder. This is the desire to want to amputate one's healthy limbs and even paralysis. This disorder is thought to be caused by early childhood trauma, over-identification with amputees, and obsessive-compulsive tendencies. One major theory among psychologists and neurologists is that BIAD occurs when the brain has not mapped the body correctly. Because this condition is so rare, there is little information available. But with the information that we do have, there are reports showing a common recurrence to exposure to amputees at a young age. This goes along with body mapping. Seeing the loss of limbs makes someone think that's how you're supposed to look, avoiding the medical condition they might have. Some relate this condition to body dysphoria. Individuals who have BIAD often report a childhood awareness of this condition, which may lead further to support this theory. Like I said before, this condition is very, very rare and only affects around 2% of people. To date, there's been approximately 300 documented cases of this disorder. Most of these cases are male. Almost all desire the amputation of the limb to be on the left side of the body, whether it's an arm or a leg. With the information available to us, these are some of the signs of BIAD recorded. Some are feeling like a particular limb doesn't belong on their body. Others had an intense want to become disabled and paralyzed. Others, the picture they had in their head didn't match their physical appearance, and this relates back to body mapping from a young age. Next, they had a persistent discomfort or an intense feeling of inappropriateness concerning their non-disabled body configuration. And finally, they were severely suffering mentally because of the unwanted limbs still being attached to their body. Throughout those recorded cases, these are the different types of amputations people have wished for. Going back to those previous slides, some wanted to become paralyzed and disabled. Next, we have a transection of their spinal cord, and then we have a total amputation of the arm, or maybe just to the elbow, or just their hand or fingers. It really all just depends on the person and what they want. And then after that, the leg very similar to the arm. Again, it really just depends on the person and how their body mapped out when they were younger. Although there is no treatment that is 100% effective, there is some treatments that can help. First would be therapy. Really heavy behavioral therapy can often help reduce the stress and depression associated with BIAD. Next is medication. The most common medication people with this condition would be put on is SSRI, which stands for Selective Serotin Reptate Inhibitors. These also work as antidepressants to help reduce stress. Although they are effective, it doesn't 100% work. <laughs> Another treatment therapists and doctors have tried is using post-op equipment. To alleviate their desire for an amputation to some degree, they often will use canes, butchers, crutches, and prosthetics to simulate the amputated limb, and finally, surgery. <clears throat> when surgeons are great, they will only operate if it comes down to it. If all other, if all other treatment has failed, some patients may attempt self imitation or to damage the limb they wish they were, they wished removed until surgery is absolutely necessary for an amputation. But those who undertake amputation on their own or attempt to find someone who will perform the procedure may face serious complications or even death due to unsanitized and unlicensed surgeries. And furthermore, Amputation has only been shown to have a 70% effect on resolving symptoms of BIAD. That's all I got. Thank you guys.